Hello, my name is Andy and I'm a compulsive gambler. My last bet, 14th of April 2007. Uh, hi guys, to my latest vlog. Um, bear in mind I'm a bit red faced, I've just got out of the bath. So I'm a bit warm. I want my bath red hot. Um, last few weeks have been really good. I've been quite busy with work. Work's going crazy at the minute because I work for a company uh, that sells alcohol on it to like all the supermarkets and stuff. So moving pallets of beer around, cider around and it's getting warmer a bit over in England to my English followers so yeah you're keeping me in a decent job at the minute um, gambling wise I've had no thoughts of gambling I've had nice two or three meetings, GA meetings um, lots of dis lot of discussion and stuff um, I'm feeling good feeling positive, feeling sound um, don't want to be complacent though. I think one thing when we first stop is we try to be perfect, and no one's ever perfect, and uh, putting pressure on ourselves like that to make ourselves look like we're saintly and amazing all of a sudden because we've stopped gambling is quite uh, complacent really. You just got to be careful, them uh, little triggers come back again all of a sudden. Um, as I've said before, first year or two, it's pure abstinence for, and for me. Um, the behaviours are still there though, like the little, like being sharp tongued, being nasty, not listening to others and stuff. That's when you work on after you've been off for a couple of years. You just uh, start to chill out, start to relax, start to enjoy life even more, start to enjoy what's around you, who's around you. Who you're discussing things with, who, you, who you're having a laugh with, and stuff like that, and the company you keep. Um, what's imperative though, for me personally, in my recovery, is just to have half an hour to myself, just switch off, be it if you're just reading a book or just chilling out in a bath, or for me, my main thing is running or having a blast at the gym, just having a half hour, hour away from life relaxes me it's a bit like meditation really just calms me down if i've had a rough day at work or feeling a bit anxious or even if i'm feeling a bit close to a bet which i've not felt for a while take myself away from the opportunity of might be doing it i would want to do something else um last sunday i did the ramathon which is like the derby half marathon local half marathon and I managed to break my personal best by three minutes and I did it in a mauve suit as well I always tend to do fancy dress so I got back number one in fancy dress I did my time in one hour 44 minutes and 14 seconds which is over three minutes faster than what I've done before so I think if I wasn't in a mauve suit I'd get under hour 40 that's how fit I'm feeling at the minute bearing in mind now I've just had a week of eating junk I'm not doing anything but I think I deserve that so Really good. Uh, down to the straits of like going on holiday soon, so I'll go away in August for a couple of weeks and ski at us a nice little Greek island with the family and some friends. Looking forward to that, so putting the hard work in, earning the pennies. I'd be chasing that if I was gambling still. I'd be like trying to beg, bother, or anything, and probably wouldn't even be going away. So I feel quite lucky, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm happy, I'm in good spirits, I'm really really good, I'm really really chilled out, I've had, like I say I've had some good meetings, some very good discussion, been discussion again about like uh, gambling adverts and stuff on, on the, how much of it there is, all I'm going to reiterate is this should be on after 9pm in England, but it is what it is. <laughs> The cat's out of the bag, if you know what I mean. It's uh, we can't change culture now. It's a massive gambling culture in the country. Like I say his book is everywhere and everything, and you know his campaigns for this and that and everything like that. Like, and yeah, I agree with certain aspects of it, but it is what it is. We can't change people if with gambling addiction, with addic any addiction, you've got to want it. You've got to want to stop. You can give as much help as you can and 
yeah, people, some people do need nanny and some people do need a lift up, but you've got to make it yourself. It's not easy. It's, it really isn't easy, but you've got to stop for yourself. You've got to want to stop for yourself. That's what I try to do one day at a time. It's hard, but I can assure you, the further you get away from gambling, the better life gets. It really does. Life is paramount to me. It's amazing. It chills me out now. I've got my head focused. I'm not. It's like uh, <coughs> it's like with like work-related issues and things like that. Now, I think if I was still gambling, I'd be like, whatever, whatever. I couldn't give a toss about work. But now I'm doing well at work. I'm a team leader at work, and I've got responsibility. So. I've got to cloud my judgment, so that's like another barrier in place for me. That keeps me away from gambling. With regards to like sporting stuff and all that, like everyone knows I like horse racing and stuff. I didn't even know it was the Epsom Derby until the day it was on, and that's just crazy for me. Because, like I say, I can still watch racing as spectator sport, but even that's pulled away now. I don't really watch any racing at all. Time's taken up with three kids and the family and everything like that and doing things with them and yeah keeping fit doing it watching the kids play football watching my daughter dance just growing up and being normal really as I've said before as a compulsive gambler you either up there or down there there's no in between I just want to be boring and hopefully I am coming across as boring because that means I'm happy I'm chilled, I'm relaxed, I'm doing normal things, what normal people do, not sitting in a bubble, waiting for the next bet, just gambling away like a nutcase, not for me anymore. I've also had like offers of like doing lectures and being paid for them and things like that and asking why, why don't I take any money for doing what I do, these vlogs and like the people who ask for help, I say no. So, I will not do it anymore. So, my name's Andy. I'm a compulsive gambler. Thank you.